What is going on everybody? My name is Will and I'm from Isometric Obsession and today's tutorial is going to be on low poly portraits and I'm going to go by step by step on how to make it and like finalize it and make it look really nice. So what you want to do, I've just made a 920 by 1080 document with a resolution of 72 here. Um, just plain white background and I've made some rulers um, to just mark out the middle and center and everything. If you don't have the rulers um, on this on the top here and the sides, you just go Command R and they'll appear and you can drag them down easily and then if you don't want them, you just drag them off. Okay, so first thing you want to do <clears throat> is drag a picture of whatever animal or anything you want. So this week's example is going to be um, a gazelle. Um, I'm just going to... It's, it's probably better if you get a front-on image, but it's up to you whether you want to make it front-on or side-on or whatever you want to do. So you just want to center it and everything. And then you want to grab the polygon lasso tool. And before I start, um, this tutorial does not require any plugins whatsoever. It's just all done by you. So this is why it's really it's a really good tutorial. So you, I've just made a new layer here. And... Um, you just start going around the face and head and anything of the animal and making an outline. So when we make the animal, it's just the animal and not the background. And But you don't have to be perfect with it, so it looks low poly. It's probably better if you make it all jagged and, but not too jagged, like not massively jagged and just like cut out that whole bit. You want to add a bit of detail, but minimal detail. And once you've finished that, you can just cut that off and finish that selection. Then fill it in with, doesn't really matter what color. And then just fill it in, drag the layer below and make it a mask. So yeah, what I've done there is just made half the face. So when I've finished, I can just copy and flip it and it will be um, all good. So before you start, you always rasterize your layer so it's editable. And then I'll just start up here on this head. And you just basically want to make a triangle selection. However big or small you want, you can do whatever you want, but you just make it. And um, you want to go to filter, blur, and average, average blur. And what that does, it grabs all the colors within the selection and um, gets the average color of that selection and fills it in. And then to deselect the layer, you just go Command D. So that's basically how you do it. But um, you obviously don't want to go to filter, blur, average the whole time. So what I do, you just go Command F then Command D. So you get your selection, Command F, Command D. So that just, oops, that just makes it um, really fast for you. So Command F basically just redoes the action that um, that was last used in the filter tab, and then Command D is obviously deselect. So you can go ahead and just do whatever aspect of the animal you want. You can do the whole face. You can do half the face. Anything will look cool with this effect. And I'm just going to fast forward this and complete the um, head and everything for you. So once you've finished doing that, you can just um, make this layout one over here and just rename it to like... Uh, or whatever your animal is called um, and then uh, convert it to a smart object and then duplicate it flip it and then add it to the other side as I said this process takes a long time and I didn't add a whole bunch of detail to it um, but simply because of I don't want to drag the tutorial on for too long so I didn't do that for that reason but I can show some examples on the screen right now of um, what you can do if you have a lot of time in your hands and you would like to make something really cool. But either way, these things still look really cool by themselves. So what you want to do to, if you hide the rulers, you can see that it all kind of looks like one. 
in the middle especially where it joins where um, but if you go to hue and saturation by pressing command u on the layer but you have to rasterize it first you can turn the lightness down slightly or up slightly I'm gonna turn it up slightly and it will add the effect of um, more polygons so you can do that as well as if you make that one and just rename it convert to smart object and if you add a photo filter here and add like you could add an orange tinge you could add anything you want just a tinge that looks nice I think the light blue one looks pretty good or an orange one I'm gonna go with the orange one and that brings out the colors a bit more and makes it a bit more um, vibrant so um, that's the tutorial for today if you have enjoyed please subscribe and leave a comment on what you'd like to see next um, but other than that leave a like and check out my channel in the description I do some speed arts on low poly portraits and other low poly things as well as banners and um, tutorials soon will be coming to my channel so check my channel out check all the other channels out um, they'll be in the description and yeah see, see you next time